Here we go. Let me try this uh, operations and compositions with our functions. This is our new section. This is going to be a lot easier than what you were doing before when you were talking about analysis. All we need to do is a little bit of algebra to take care of these operations, whether we're adding, whether we're adding or subtracting or multiplying or dividing. I'll create the next video that has to do with composition. I may throw it in here just because it could be pretty simple. All right, so I'm given two functions. The first function is this one, x squared plus 2x minus 8. The other function, uh, g of x, is x plus 4. The first thing we have to do, it says, let's add our f function and our g functions together. That's it. So let's go ahead. I'm going to write out the f function. x squared plus 2x minus 8. Right? There it is. And then what, I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to add to it. I'm going to add x plus 4 to it. No, not 4 plus x. x plus 4. Same thing, right? Commutative property and such. But let's go ahead and add them together. Sorry about the glare there. If that's the worst of it, then I think we're going to be doing okay. Well, so I scan through here and I say, hey, are there any like terms here? And I do see a couple of like terms. I see uh, 2x and x, those are like terms. And I see minus 8 and plus 4. So I'll put those together. 2x plus x is 3x. So I don't have any other x squared terms. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to add the 2x and the x to make 3x. And last, but certainly not least, negative 4 and positive, uh, negative 8 and positive 4, negative 4. And that's it, you know. Super easy, right? What's, uh, what's difficult about subtraction? It's basically the same thing, right? I'm going to change this into subtraction. Well, when we subtract, what do we do? I'm subtracting this whole binomial, so... I'm going to be distributing the negative, and I'm going to show you. Just give me one second to erase. And we'll start again. Here's subtraction. I write them out again. Here are my functions x squared plus 2x minus 8. Here's my other function x plus 4. I'm going to do this just so we get a sense. That, those are the two functions. I'm going to put subtraction in between, right? But I'm subtracting this and I'm subtracting this. So if you want to change it, you know, make this addition, change to negative, change to negative. You could do it that way. If that makes you feel better, I'm okay with that. We're going to subtract x from 2x. We're going to subtract 4 from minus 8. So again, x squared, we don't have any like terms. 2x minus x or plus a negative x is just one lone positive x there. And then minus 8 and negative 4, minus, negative 8 and negative 4 are negative 12. And that's it. That's what we have when we subtract. Sounds good. Real easy stuff, right? It's not. We haven't changed uh, any anything. We didn't have to do any analysis. Just doing a little bit of uh, algebra here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's multiply these two functions. Here it's going to get a little bit dicey because I have to distribute both of these terms to this bad boy. Okay, and it's it's not that difficult. Again, I'm going to put parentheses around it just because it may help you think. And we're going to multiply by x plus 4. And just like FOIL, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to distribute this x to every piece inside. I'm going to distribute this 4 to every piece inside and then see what we, what we have left. x times x squared is x cubed x times 2x 
is 2x squared x times negative 8 is minus 8x. Then I start with the 4. 4 times x squared is 4x squared. 4 times 2x is 8x. And last but not least, 4 times negative 8 is negative 32. Okay, well I have some cleaning up to do. I do have some like terms, so I'm going to go ahead and put together my 2x squared and my 4x squared. I don't have any other x cubes there, so I'm going to say 2x squared plus 4x squared is 6x squared. I have a minus 8x and a plus 8x, and those actually just cancel each other out, right? So I'm just going to cross those bad boys off. And last but not least, I'm just going to stick my minus 32 on the end. And that's it. So we've done addition, subtraction, and multiplication. What's last? Division. Just the way it's listed here, we're going to put the f function on top and the g function on the bottom. I'm going to show you how easy this is and we're going to use an old skill called factoring. So I'm going to do x squared plus 2x minus 8. And put that all over x plus 4. Hopefully you've been thinking ahead and you already know that, that if you factor this be able to cancel something out. If not, hey, not a big deal. We'll show you. Remember back in the day when we had a quadratic and we needed to factor it into a couple of binomials, all we did was take a look at this, this sign here, and we saw that we were going to have, since this is negative, both an addition and a subtraction symbol. Then we were taking our factors of 8, our factors of negative 8, that have a difference of positive 2. Our factors of negative 8 that have a difference of positive 2 are 4 and negative 2. And of course, x times x is x squared. And so we're all set. We've factored this bad boy out, x plus 4 on the bottom. Look at that. These two things are exactly the same. We divide it out into 1, and so our final answer is x minus 2. If you have any questions on that, let me know. This is old school stuff. I'm trying to rip right through it. This next part is the part that uh, is very, very difficult or a little different than you're used to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this video now. I'll come back with a new video to show you all about, sorry, all about fog and golf.